My mother maintains I came out of the womb caring. From the time I was a little boy, I was fascinated in the natural world around me. I began going to Lake Okeechobee and probably the first time I went was 1947 to go bass fishing. I had never been in the wilds of Florida, but the real treat of the day were the thousands of birds that surrounded us. The water was crystal clear in 1947. There's no question about that. It's immense. It's a, an inland sea. When the ocean receded, it left this great big round area that filled with fresh water and became Lake Okeechobee. It's the mother lake. It's the heart, soul of the Everglades. It has been badly damaged by man. So when the Kissimmee was channelized, the lake changed dramatically because now 400 tons of phosphorus were entering the lake annually. The sea began to turn greener and greener and greener. We now know how the system works from top to bottom. And it'll be very interesting to see if we take opportunities and even some chances. We're so close. I mean that. We know what to do to cleanse the water going into Lake Okeechobee. We know what to do in water levels in the lake to keep the marshes growing healthily, keep them in beautiful condition. I'd like to live long enough to see Obviously, let's move it, move it. <laughs> it the quality of life Absolutely. is so dependent upon our eyes and our understanding of nature. Imagine the eye of the snail kite to reach down and pick up an apple snow. Think of the coordination. It's such an extraordinary. It's a wonderful picture of water, of emergent growth, of birds, alligators, primeval in a sense. And I hope in years to come, the water will be clean. <laughs>